It was homecoming night as Tusky Valley hosted Claymont on Friday night. Could the Trojans pull off the victory? Let's find out. We pick up the action on Tusky Valley's second offensive possession, and the Trojans fool everyone as Noah Love has the ball, and he will rumble into the end zone from 31 yards out for a Tusky Valley touchdown. Sam Ray will boot the extra point through the uprights, and the Trojans have an early 7-0 lead. Claymont will respond on the ensuing possession. The Mustangs will complete six straight passes to move the ball down the field, including this diving catch by Ian Porco. After passing down the field, the Mustangs will find Pater on the legs of quarterback Caden Pursuti as he runs it in from the eight yard line. The extra point is no good and it's 7-6 Tusky Valley. The Trojans will extend their lead in the second quarter as Isaiah Schlegel breaks free for a 27 yard touchdown. Sam Ray's second extra point of the night makes it 14-6 Tusky Valley. On their next possession, the Trojans will march 45 yards on seven straight running plays. The Trojans will cap the drive with this Tristan Tesh touchdown run and the lead is now 21-6 midway through the second quarter. Down 21-6, the Mustangs appear ready to get back into the game as they mount a 10-play drive deep into Trojan territory. However, Toby Grossi will step in front of a Pursuity pass at the 13-yard line and return it all the way to the Claymont 25-yard line before he's chased down by the Mustangs. Tristan Tesh will then capitalize on the takeaway as he makes a Mustang defender miss in the hole and sprints into the end zone to give Tusky Valley a commanding 28-6 lead at the intermission. Third quarter action was dominated by defense as neither team could score and the score remained 28-6 Tusky Valley as we went to the fourth quarter. With eight minutes remaining in the game, the Mustangs are at the Trojan 19-yard line when Pursuti's throw into the end zone appears to be intercepted by Jalen Sharp. However, the officials rule that Claymont's Trey Burial catches the ball and it's a Mustang touchdown to cut the lead to 28-12. After a defensive stop, the Mustangs appear to have momentum. The momentum will not last long as Luke Heron steps in front of a Pursuti pass and for the second week in a row, Heron will take an interception to the house as his 40-yard return makes it 35-12 Tusky Valley. Bailey Nelson will add another interception for the Trojans as the Tusky Valley defense forces four Mustang turnovers and the Trojans take the 35-12 victory to improve to 4-3 on the season. The Trojans, who are 2-0 and sit atop the IVC South, will now head to Ridgewood to face the 6-1 Generals on Friday night in a game that will have huge IVC and playoff implications. From Tusky Valley High School, this is Mike Horger reporting for TV Online.